Okay, so we're on the Zen Green stage. I've set the uh, green stage up with a right to left break, just in case you're wondering. Um, and I'm going to go through a little bit of a routine. So the trident marker has a little scoop which allows you to rest up against the ball. That also then allows us to slide. This is the great thing about it. It's unique sort of slider across the back. It works really, really well. Um, it allows us to get just the absolute angle. I mean, and you can see how much variable slope we've got. So what I'd recommend is that you lined up, started with the center, and then position that um, center line in line with it, with you and the hole. You are not going to need to adjust it by these amounts of slope ordinarily. If you know there's a big slope, then you can start slightly biased towards that, of course. And find your way of doing it. I'm not telling you exactly how to do things, but my routine would be that I would line up between the ball and the hole, pick it up, and then without any bias towards the slope, um, I would you know, try and start from a neutral start. But from here, I can now come in. I'm going to skewer the camera, so you know I will be in the way of the camera. But I'm going to go through my routine, how I would do it. So between the ball and the hole, pick up the ball, and I can now, if we're out on the golf course, I can be with my playing partners. Let them do what they're doing. Um, they can do their putts. They can have their practice. I can now choose my line. I can. Do my aim point read. I can, you know, exactly where I want that ball to start. So, at this point, if I was to stand over the putt, this would feel like it would start much too low. In fact, it's starting more or less at the hole. So I can now adjust the trident align to where I want the ball to start. If that's too much break, then I've chosen my line, but I can choose where that wants to be. Go back and do my and I'm taking my time, all right? I'm you know, I don't want us to get on here and think, oh, you know, this is a laborious process. It's not, it's very straightforward. You've chosen your line, set your marker, and now when you position the golf ball back down, there is a line on the ball that looks like it is now square, it has made a box, and then the line this way perfectly lined up with the marker itself. I can check that, of course, and I'm doing it for the purposes and benefit of the camera, making sure that we are lined up nicely. And then from there, we're good to go. Notice that there's a line underneath here, so we know whether or not that is actually perpendicular to the ground as well. Take that away, marker in the pocket, nice smooth stroke. The line on the ball will tell us whether we've hit a good putt after we've started it online <coughs> and into the hole. So to conclude, um, Trident Marker, huge, big up, in fact it's a two thumbs for me. I really like it, I like the simplicity, I like the way that it goes through the um, alignment process. Look, it seems like it's a slow process at the moment, but that's for the benefit of you seeing it for the first time. Get out on the golf course with it. The contact details below will tell you exactly where you can get your Trident to line marker from. Um, it arrived to me, I made process the payment. It came through to me within a couple of days. So, you know, I'm sure the guys are gonna struggle with stock. I get them now. Right. Um, this is a really, really great product and you know, it would have been a perfect stocking filler, it has been for me. Um, you might not see this this side of Christmas. Um, I'm wishing you all a great Christmas for 2019 and a really prosperous 2020. But if it isn't this year's stocking filler, get it in your golf bag early part of the new year and help you to start your ball online with the Trident to Line Marker. Thanks for watching.